best Batman villains. Top nine best Batman villains. Let's go. Number nine, Deadshot. And y'all probably saying like, oh, you picked him because Will Smith played him in Suicide Squad. No, I picked him because he's a dope ass fucking character. He can shoot your ass from down the street four miles away. Blow your fucking head off. I dig that shit, man. So Deadshot, number nine. Number eight is Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is number eight. And I'm like, not going from Arnold Schwarzenegger. I remember being a kid and watching the, the 1960s Batman, Adam West. And I seen him. I thought that was a cool character. Like, why well, that'd be cool. You can freeze motherfuckers and shit. So I always thought that was cool. So number eight is Mr. Freeze. Number seven, y'all might disagree because y'all seen him in one of the greatest movies ever, um, The Dark Knight. Um, number seven, Harvey Two-Face. Harvey Two-Face now he did Harvey. They did Harvey Two Face in the um the Val Kilmer Batman, and they made him crazy as hell in that movie. You know when Tommy Lee Jones played him, like him motherfucker was sick. Like, <laughs> I'm like he might as well be the Joker and shit. What the fuck, he might as well be crazy. So and then you see on Dark Knight, and it's like oh shit. But then you go back, you go back to '89, and Billy Dee Williams is Harvey Dent. I'm like what is that? So but I always thought that was cool. Like he had different sides of him, and that was a clever ass villain. So yo. Number seven, Harvey Two-Face. Might get some disagreements on this one. Number six is uh, the Penguin. The Penguin is number six. Penguin never had no hands. You know what I'm saying? Penguin, you know, he, he was like a mafia dude and shit. So it was, it was cool in the Batman, the one I just saw. And um, my man played him and shit. He had the makeup on. I didn't even recognize his ass. So Colin Farrell played Batman in the Batman. I was like, yo, this motherfucker looks like he should have been in a Scorsese movie and shit. But then you go back and um, Batman Returns. With Michael Keaton, and it's like, eh, well, you eat fish, you bite noses off. Okay, it was slick costume design, though. I thought it was cool. But then you go back to the Adam West TV series, and you had Burgess Meredith, who played um, Mickey on Rocky. You had him, and I like. I thought he was cool, because, you know, a cool outfit, and you know, <laughs> laughing and shit. I always liked him as an actor. So, hey, so number six is Penguin. Number five. I almost put it high, put them higher because I put them higher because damn it, Zoe, Zoe Kravitz is fine as hell. I don't like shit. But I have to go number five. Going number five is Catwoman. I don't understand. Like, did they smash before? Or uh, what? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that relationship is. Sometimes and they see they never really get to no real, real you no know, real physical altercations for real, for real. You know. So I'm like, uh, she, she's dope, though. You know what I'm saying? She's slick. I was watching the TV show Gotham. I thought that was dope. Michelle, Michelle Pfeiffer was decent, you know. Cat, I didn't, I never watched the Holly Berry one. It got so trash at the damn, at, on the on the on the um on the reviews. I'm like, I'm not going to see that shit. And then a comedian of mine like, that ain't no movie. That's a Maybelline commercial. I'm like, all right, I ain't going to see that shit. But and then she didn't like it. So I'm like, why the fuck would I go see that? But you see this one with Zoe Kravitz, like, all right, you got a little more respect. Even my girl in Dark Knight Rises, I'm like, yo, yeah, it was decent. So yeah, number five, Catwoman. Number four. It's the Riddler. The Riddler is number four for me because when I was a kid again, watching that, he was one of my favorite ones on a TV series. I thought he was dope. You know what I mean? He was slick when plotting, you know, planning and all that shit. I'm like, yo, I'm digging the Riddler. Then they had Jim Carrey play him in Batman Forever. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, this, this is cool. Then Jim Carrey's perfect for that. And then I see this last one, and people really like this guy. I'm like, ah, oh. I think he probably, he messed up, my, he probably would have been higher in my list if I didn't see that guy. I thought he was okay. He was a little, a little crazy and shit, but I'm like, nah, it's all right. So I still got you at number four, man. Number four, the Riddler was one of my favorite. And I like the Method Man song on Batman Fest. Number three is Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul, God damn, he trained Batman. God damn, he was the master. He was the League of Shadow leader. One of the League of Shadow, come on, man. You cannot knock Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> he sounds like he's. <laughs> I thought he was Mexican when he said this shit. Um, no disrespect to the Mexicans. Hey, but Raz Agu now is Mexican. But who my guy? Nielsen played him. Damn it, Nielsen did that, and he been killing motherfuckers in movies ever since. He like seventy seven, still fighting. God, they made me love that character. So Raz Agu is number three. Number two, Dark Knight Rises is nothing without this guy. It's Bang Bang. I did not like Bang at first. I watched that one going to see the movie. I'm like, oh, this ain't as cool as the, the second one with the Joker. But then you watch it again on video. Like, yo, this dude is hardcore. He was hardcore. <laughs> 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 
You and Julie adopted the dog. I was born in it. Man, come on. He got, he got bars, dog. He should be rapping this shit. Bang. Bang fucked Batman up, too. But I wish, if you ain't see it, so fucking what. But, yo, you watch it. The end, I thought the fight could have been better at the end. But other than that, man, that one, he had to stand off. And he, he broke Batman's back and shit. And I was like, oh, man, I was concerned. I'm like, this shit ain't a movie. It's real. So that's a great fucking job by my man who played him. Damn it, Bang is number two. And number one, man, come on, man. Why, why you, why y'all even wait for number one, man? You know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say with number one. God damn it, the Joker's number one. The Joker is number one. It has not, that character has not been done badly by anybody. It might not have been as good, but it wasn't done badly. Jack Nicholson was just perfect. He just put the makeup on and was Jack. Like, Jack was cool. You know what I'm saying? Jack was joking, burning motherfuckers up. And, Bob, you're my number one guy. That guy, man. Oh, God. Man, him. Then they gave it to Heath Ledger. I'm like, they gave it to who? The dude from um, um, 10 Things I Hate About You? Why did they do that? Man, we went to the movies and saw that shit. I'm like, yo, this motherfucker can act. Damn. He's my favorite one. And then Jerry Leno, like, ah, it was all right. You know what I'm saying? It was all right. And then you go to Gotham. You watch Gotham, my man from um, Shameless played a man. Oh, man. Whoo. Joker, man. Number one. He's number one. I think he's my favorite villain ever. He and him and Thanos like neck and neck. But we ain't doing Thanos. We're doing Batman villains. And that's it. So, hey, if you disagree with it or you agree with it, leave a comment, man. Come on. Let me know what you think about this Batman list, man. Batman villains. See you next segment. Like right now.